All right, Seagull Cyclist here, and um, we're at the Armed Forces Cycling Classic on Saturday, the Cat 3-4. Um, they asked how many Cat 4s were in the race beforehand, and there was probably, I don't know, maybe 10. I think there was 85 that started uh, the whole race, and then out of those, of course, the rest are Cat 3s. I mean, I think there might have been a Cat 2 in there. They had said if there are any Cat 2s that haven't upgraded yet. And then one guy raised his hand. So, um, fast start, and it's typical uh, crit that's all lined up. <clears throat> a lot of single file action. And the key is, of course, be up front. And I got to the staging 20 minutes early, and uh, there's a buddy of mine, Carl, there on the right hand side. Um, he's in that pink kind of uh, Baltimore uh, bicycling club, the BB. C kit. Anyway, uh, we raced the Wilmington Grand Prix and uh, a couple other races. So what's up, Carl? Um, also known as Woodcock Johnson, the fourth. Um, you have to look that one up. Um, so yeah, the three four. Um, I got to staging about 20 minutes early. Thought that was a, a sufficient enough time, but it wasn't. I was probably fourth row back. And here we are. You're trying to cover some gaps and it's that slingshot effect so yep yeah, I've been racing a lot and trying to work the fitness so I felt pretty good but after a while after you keep trying to uh, come out of these corners and catch the main group it wears you out um, I don't know that guy there from um, phase so that's the turn one there, pretty technical turn, and there is a crash, and um, I'm in it, and I'm wondering about the barrier, so uh, take a look at what happens to the barrier when I go plowing into it, um, and tell me your thoughts on it. So that's a little uphill alert, flat, false flat. And I'm trying to figure out, like, possibly how could I get to the front. Of course, it's all stretched out, single file. A couple manhole covers that you have to pick your way through. Um, two riders up, that's Josh Strong. Um, I believe he was a Cat 4, or sorry, Cat 5 at the beginning of the year. He's a Cat 4 now because he like crushed a couple races like Elkridge came in first um, and he f came in first place in another race too. So there's Josh on the right. Um, I can't tell what kit that is. I think it's, um, I think it's his ACT, but I don't know the name of the team. So um, you guys might know who that is or what team that is. That's Josh right there. Um, tall rider so yeah um, it's good to get behind him um, compared to some other guys so we've raced a couple races together uh, he's strong I'd like to get a different camera mount so I can put it on my stem instead of off on the right hand side so maybe get the double um, uh, brake lever look in the middle. And yeah, so I st just started the channel. So if you guys have any like suggestions or whatever, um, I'm trying to figure out how to get the music to to get some free music. Um, I haven't looked into finding out how much it costs for uh, getting the licenses and everything because I'm a teacher and I'm broke. But I'm um, just trying to find some quality music uh, with some decent beats to maybe start off the, the videos. A couple guys from Bike Rack Racing. Um, seen them at, of course, a lot of races. Um, they got a pretty good squad. They got like usually five or six guys that show up. And 
they've got good power. District Taco always represented well. Some good, good racers. So you can see how it bunches up. It slows down a little bit in this turn, you know, which is good because it's a critical, critical turn. So kind of dropping some speed down a little bit is okay, and keeping it safe. Oh yeah, and this is a um, low resolution video, um, I believe, because um, I'm just working with Verb and I realized that um, it says import, but it's kind of a temporary import. So you cannot delete your GoPro files off of your SD card until everything is uploaded and finalized and sent to YouTube. Um, there goes Asher uh, Tillman on the right hand side. He just won the Cat 4 uh, Crit Championship up in um, Hagerstown. So congratulations to Asher. Um, I forget how old he is, but he's like super young, like, I don't know, 16 maybe? Uh, um, Asher, you can tell me how old you are in the comments. So he's moving up, I believe. There he is, and Josh is in front of him. So this is a big race. I mean, you can see the big screen there. You know, the pros come in. Um, Legions of Los Angeles with um, the national champion and um, his brother. I believe it's Justin and Corey Phillips. And so yeah, they're uh, they're racing after our race, a few hours after our race. So it's great atmosphere, a lot of people. Um, they have a um, cycling challenge in the morning and you um, try and get in as many laps as you can for uh, fundraising. Sorry, I think I said Phillips. Sorry, Justin, it's um, Williams. Sorry about that. That's uh, Cameron Quick that just uh, was on the left hand side there uh, with FaZe. Um, good power. It looks like uh, a guy started heading towards the curb there. I don't think he went down. He might have. Um, but yeah, that that's that critical corner. And if you take it too wide, you're going to run into that curb or the barrier. So it's been pretty much high pressure for the you know first ten and a half minutes here. Um, Josh is looking over his shoulder, probably wondering if I'm going to pull through or if somebody's going to pull through. Um,
I feel pretty good in cornering. Um, I don't mind. Uh, okay. I, I tell this guy I'm on the, on his left, but he kind of kept. He didn't kind of let me in. Um, so I was not going to go into the barrier that time, and um, just kind of pushed, gave some pushback. I didn't knock him over or anything, but I just kind of held my position, and we got through the corner. Um, he did apologize, I believe, but um, anyway. So here's the turn. So there goes, you know, the guy slips out. Um, I hit the barrier and it pops out. And of course, I don't know who that guy is. I feel bad for him. His head got stuck in it. Like, so is that barrier supposed to be cut? Is it supposed to get detached like that? Or is it supposed to be secured to the next section of the barrier? Like, obviously it took a couple dudes out. And, you know, it could have been probably a heck of a lot worse with those foot pegs the uh, braces at the bottom you know sticking out or something so maybe in your com the comments below just tell me like are those things supposed to be uh, zip tied together because maybe um, it would have made my impact a little harder but it wouldn't have caused maybe a couple guys to crash and you know it, it would have reduced the amount of um, carnage in the corner so yeah, um, a friend of mine who races um, says like he likes to take the inside corner because of that, right? So a guy slips out and starts to push everybody to the left, and sure enough, I'm in the out very outside, and I get pushed into the barrier. Uh, I tried to uh, scrub some speed. I've started skidding. Um, yeah, when it looks like I may, almost could have made it around the corner. Um, but my shoulder was like already into the barrier. Uh, I, it was just um, too fast. But we were, you know, I had slowed down as much as I could, but even I, I couldn't maintain, um, you know, that cornering at that speed. So sorry for um, causing a couple people to get wiped out, but. I mean, I understand it is kind of racing, but it just sucks that that barrier popped out. Um, so me and this guy, um, you know, once we've got our chains on and I thought I checked the wheel, my rear wheel to see if it was spinning fine. Um, I gave it a couple turns and it looked okay. So, you know, we're kind of cruising around and he asked me like, where's the group? And I said, they probably have half a lap on us. Half a lap so I'm thinking, are we going to chase them down? And then here's the pit, right? So I see a buddy of mine, John, over here on the right. And it, of course, reminds me, hey, get into the pit. So there's John, uh, rides with um, Haymarket. And um, he had, I guess, gotten clipped um, in that corner as well. I don't think he went down. Um, or if he went down, he got up pretty quick. So. This guy's checking my bike. Yes, sir. And Are you good to go or do you want to take one? He's spinning the back tire. And again, it kind of looked okay. It looked like it was... I, I didn't really see the wobble. Until the race. So, I believe you can get two laps. But he, that guy sends us off, and of course now you got to sprint to catch back on, and that sucks. So there's Cameron, and John's up ahead, and so we got to sprint all out to get back on. Um, so it would have been nice to have my wheel really checked, um, and then caught back on this after two laps because um, I think that's what happened um, in a previous race where Asher went down 
Um, he went down, got one lap, and then had a flat and got another lap. And it's and even in this race and other races this weekend, I'm pretty sure there's a two lap um, free lap rule. So if you really need it, you get two laps. Um, so it would have been nice to have that wheel changed out um, because there was um, it was untrue and it caused a little bit of brake rub. So not only catching on and holding on, but having a brake rub is not uh, very helpful when you're in a race. So we catch the group and um, I felt fine. You know, we're pushing it, it's still fast race. And so this clip ends in about a minute. So um, again, there's about, uh, I have another clip, it's about 11 minutes, but it's just us sitting on the back um, and then getting popped actually. So um, Cameron, John and I, I think are the last ones coming through that get credit for the race. Um, see, there's a couple guys there that get sent on to the back of the group. And this would be the second time around. So I don't know if they were in the pit when I got there. I think they were. So anyhow, um, hard freaking race. It's definitely a rush. Um, Survive the wreck. Hot back on at the pit. And the legs are toast. Whew. Holy crap. That's a fast race. Gotta train harder. See ya. And 